Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mix Up Crow. Thank you for watching today. So this week I have quite a few bits to share with you and I'm really excited. So I'm going to share with you these few pieces that I brought from the range. So not that bag. <laughs> That's left over from the ones from my um, paper bag tutorial that I shared earlier. So I picked up this thank you stamp set. I do have the... Oh, I've got the large birthday ones and then I've got the large birthday girl and birthday boy in the Dovecraft and they're beautiful they're so big and you would have seen me use them a lot and I've also got those woodware ones but this is the thank you one I haven't had it and I <laughs> it's one of those ones you always see and I just kind of forget to get it so I thought no I'm going to grab it now because I just love the font and it's just it's a nice size so that was $2.49 from the range again I will link in everything that I can then I picked up these two packs of the white paper bags so these are larger and I've got another idea for a paper bag album because lots of you really like that and there was quite a few comments regarding it so I will link in that tutorial if some of you are thinking oh what paper bag mini album but this is going to be for another one slightly bigger and slightly different so watch this space for that then I picked up these wooden square sticks so they're just that brand craft which is sold everywhere they were only a pound I believe and I'm trying to think this will go up on Thursday so this will maybe in Friday's tutorial what I've done with these maybe if not yeah soon so a pound they were yeah just a bargain then I grabbed these and the reason I got these because they're flat so these are just they're called glitterations by paper mania do crafts and they're completely flat if I take it out of the packaging and if I pop it on its side can you see there's like no dimension but they are glitter dots and the reason I've got them is I thought when sometimes I make really bulky cards and then you're also adding like a flat back pearl onto them those flat back pearls can be very very high these are obviously perfect because you're going to have that dimension have that detail without the dimension and you get loads so it doesn't say how many are on there but there are quite a few and these weren't expensive at all I think it was a pound so again they're going to last me quite a while so yeah so I did grab the two packs because there weren't that many there and then I just stocked up on my rose gold my rose gold went really quick and because I've got the happy you collection I'm using it a lot with that so I brought two packs of the a4 premium mirrored card in the rose gold this is the dovecraft and then i also picked up the glitter rose gold which is absolutely stunning it doesn't shed and it's just beautiful and it's 300 gsm whereas these are 240 and they're strong as it is so that's going to be perfect for a card base imagine the sparkle on that as a card base for a card so yeah watch this space that will get used but um yeah they're just kind of my basics really that i needed okay then the lovely guys at craft stash asked if i would like to choose some more product so i jumped at the chance and i'd had my eye on well i'll show you this one in a second but i also chose these two paper boutique kind of they're like the little kits they're the eight by eight size so i've got the moonlight song and I've got Magical Forest. Oh my gosh, the Magical Forest is so cute. Look at the little fox <laughs> and the little uh, deer. Uh, what's this one? Why can't I think what that is? I want to say a badger because I'm in the UK, but it's not a badger. Raccoon? Is that a raccoon? Help me out, guys. Uh, an owl. They're really, really cute. So this is, that's the top sheet. And then look you get the toppers so all of these pop out and they're on really strong card look at that owl he's got like a little headband on um so you get four of that design and then yes yeah, so you get four of each of those and there's the square images they are slightly different because you've got that one there and then it's the same animal but with a different kind of arrangement so and you can fussy cut these little bits here with these sentiments really really cute and then and then the paper pad you've got 36 sheets of six designs and i love what you get really it's just really sweet really soft subtle colors look at that isn't that adorable you could do a little mini scrapbook layout with that or you could cut a section of it and have it on a card you could just maybe roughly fussy cut around the bottom of that and have that as like a banner along the bottom there's so many ways to use these and you've got this one here Got that pretty one and you've got the one there with the deer and then is that back to the beginning again no not quite that's really nice that one and then you're back to the beginning again so you get six of all of those and those toppers 
I just think it's gorgeous. And the nice thing about this as well is on the back, they give you all the other things that are in that collection. So you have the 12 by 12, you then have the A4, that one is the insert collection. Then you've got the 8 by 8 papers. Then you have the plain cardstock. And then you also have the scene and sentiment toppers. So that's something different again. So within that collection, so whenever, if you head over to the site, just type in Magical Forest or Paper Boutique and then click on Magical Forest and you'll get everything that comes within that. And I just think it's really nice. I like that there's so much choice to it, but that's why I grabbed the kit because then I've got the toppers and papers. So that's, that's kind of enough for me, but if you want to, you know, have everything have the cardstock to match then yeah you've got that option so I went for the magical forest because of the cuteness but I went for the moonlight song because of the color palette so you've got these it's almost it, it's got a little bit of a Halloween kind of feel to it and I think that's because you've got the real dark black owl here so there's that kind of darkness to it but at the same time it's got a real nice kind of feminine touch because of all the roses running throughout so it is something that I'm going to use in October for some Halloween projects, certainly some cards because I think that it, it's just a nice twist. It's something a bit different than your traditional, you know, blacks and purples and oranges. So here you've got your toppers again, really nice sentiments, chase the moon, ride the stars. On the night you were born, the moon smiled with wonder, wishing you a wonderful birthday. There is the moon, there is magic, there is you. Then you've got shine like the moon, sun and the stars with love and best wishes. Sorry, I'm, trying, I'm staggering the way I'm speaking because I'm trying to make sure I get it in the right order. Shoot for the moon, even if you miss your land along the stars. <laughs> Once you know it, you say it, but when you're reading it like that and then yeah, you get four again. So that's the toppers. And then just to give you again, an overview. So on the back, you can see the color palette of what this one is as a you know like I said quick kind of overview of what's to come so you have that one again great for a little mini scrapbook layout but then the idea is is that you would pop your topper in there and then you could have like more flourishes and things like that around it you've got this one here with the rose you've got the owl flying over the moon with a floral kind of spray along there that one there is really nice. Love that one with the moon. But it doesn't look like a moon straight away. It just, you, you know, some people would look at it and just think it's, a, you know, a circle. But the idea is, is that's the moon. So I, I kind of like that it's there. That's really pretty. I like that background. And then that's back to the beginning again, I think. Yeah, really like it. Just there's something that drew me to it. And like I said, I think it's those colours. It's just something, again, I don't have don't have that kind of mix. So, yeah, really pleased to have those. And again, watch this space. And then there's this one. And I got so excited when I heard that Do Crafts, which is West Designs, yeah, West Design, they were collaborating with the National History Museum, to, you know, doing this paper pad kind of collection. I thought, oh my God, this is going to be awesome. And I, I loved when Trimcraft collaborated with the V&A Museum and they'd done those beautiful like William Morris prints and it was just lovely and it's something I still enjoy to use. So when this came about, I was, oh, I just couldn't wait. And when Craft Sachet said if I would like to choose a, you know, some paper pads, I asked if I could choose one of these and they kindly said yes. So I, oh, you get 50 double-sided papers at 50. It's huge. It's such a thick paper pad. And I went for the kaleidoscope. There are, I can't remember how many. I'll pop a little thing up here. And I will, again, it will all be linked below. But do go and check it out, even if you just want to look at some of the prints, because it's beautiful. So this is the organic kaleidoscope. And the, the thing as well I got really excited about, which is, well, it's not daft, but the back piece of hardboard or grey board this is solid and this is so thick. It's thicker than the grey board I buy, so that will get used straight away. So they are double-sided. So again, I don't want to spend too, too much time, but I will show you. So because this is a kaleidos because this is the kaleidoscope collection, it is like you're looking through the kaleidoscope. So you have lots of things with perfect symmetry and reflection of each other. So these, and it's not until you look at it more and more that you start to see more and more of the animals and the insects and things like that. So you've got a butterfly here, which is connected. Then you've got your dragonflies, you've got your bees, and you've got these beetles, you've got these butterflies, so you've got a smaller beetle. 
So that's just one. I mean, that could be, you could put that straight into a um, frame if you wanted to, for example. But for me, that would look great on the front of a gift bag. Yeah. You could even fussy cut elements of this. You could fussy cut each of these. So that's just one. Then on the other side, you have this. And if I just zoom in, look at that. It is just so cool. I've never seen a paper pack like this before. So you've got these zebras here, all on the outside. You've got the butterflies. And then these are like amber stones. And then these are little bugs in there. And you've got butterflies here. It's You've just got to keep looking at it and it, something else pops out to you each time. So that is those ones there. Then if I come back out slightly, I'm going to stay kind of zoomed in just so you get a better look at the details. So then you've got this one here, which is like your lily pad leaves and then your water lilies there, I think. I think that's what that looks like. And on the opposite side, look at that. Oh. Just adore it. But it's not until you look here that these are the heads of like a moth. Um, and then these are flamingo heads. Can you see? It's just really, really cool. That's the feet. So it's got a real weird weirdness to it, but I love that. I like things that are different. I think that's why I've fallen in love. These are again some kind of like look, look so almost like sapphires. But then there's a beetle's head either side of them. They are really different, guys. And it's just, I absolutely adore this. And I know I always say cut into your papers and use them, but this is one that I think I'm gonna use one and then keep the other because they're just so nice. Then on this one here, again, you get the butterflies. You've got the flamingo. You've got the roses, different flowers. And then in the background, you have this kind of just really cool shape. Again, I keep looking at it because something else pops out each time. And then you've got quite a simple, you know, kind of um, backside to that one. Then you get another one of these sheets. So you've got seahorse, coral, diamond. You've got a gem, you know, a precious stone there, pearl. Then you've got the oyster shell. You've got another shell there. So again, that's really a cool design. And then, oh, look at this. I love it. So you've got these flamingos and then these snakes. More kind of like water lilies, flowers, these great big beetles, more beetles, bugs, diamonds. And you've got these kind of almost like minerals. It's just, it just awesome. You can probably tell in my voice. I just am kind of a bit blown away with this one. This is just, again, right up my street because it's just different. That one, just so good. I love the zebras. Um, that's the back of that one. And then you've got that one there. I'm gonna try and go a bit quicker because otherwise I take ages to get through this. And then that one there. And then these ones. Then you get these sheets as well. So you've got smallest, they make great cards. You, know, you just cut that out and pop it on a six by six card blank, which is what I will probably do. But then look at the back. Oh. But then there's two lots because I won't want to cut into that parrot one. Not after my card I shared on Monday with my parrots on it. And then you've got butterflies there. And then you've got that one. It's just really weird. It's all distorted and just cool. Look at the fish coming out of the side there. Really, really good. I am a fan of Salvador Dali. So I think the weirdness of that is why I like the weirdness of this so much. So... Although it's not weird, it's, it's weird with what they've put together, but it is just looking through a kaleidoscope, which creates these great shapes. So, and there's that one there. Um, look at that. Oh, isn't that cool? That is really cool. So it's sat on its perch. I'm trying to see what else is there. Yeah, you've got other ones here hidden. More birds. Monkeys, look at the monkeys. Here. <laughs> that one be repeating myself and you got those and that one's cool it's just all your different precious stones and minerals some nice kind of subtle backgrounds there too you know especially when you're making card cards and stuff look at that isn't that good pop it that way such a cool image where else have you seen these, this kind of thing? And then I think you're back again. Oh no, there's that red, but I have seen that one. 
yeah, then we're back again. Okay, so there's that one. So it is it's awesome. I love it. I'm so glad I've got it. And check out the rest in this new Natural History Museum collection because there's some really nice papers. Okay, so my excitement was that paper pack, but even more excitement is from this. Now this is the new release or launch even from Bright Rosa, which is by Paula Pascal. And it is, well, I'm a sucker for packaging, so the packaging was amazing anyway. But it is, I, I, be I believe I've got the whole collection bar one heart wrap, and that's because the bundle that I was sent was had a duplicate in it. So that's being sorted, and I will link in the picture of the heart bundle now. And then there is one more sentiment words, which I don't have, but I'll talk you through that in a minute. So all of these dies you can buy separately. I'm gonna show you inside each one in a moment, but there are also bundles available. There are bundles of three, there are bundles of two, or you can buy them individually. So again, all the links will be shared below. Head over there, check it out and see what you think. But let me show you exactly what you get because these dies are huge, so. <laughs> I have already gone and cut everything, so I'm going to go through each of these as they are here. So this is the sentiment words, and with this one here, you get thank you, hello, thinking of you, and then you get lovely, always, you, and many. So you can basically mix and match however you want. So this is how they look when you die cut them. You can see just how big these are. So there's your hello, then you've got your thinking of you, and you've got your thank you. So the idea is that you could just have hello if you wanted to. Now these also, you can have them die cut the word into the paper. So for example, there's the hello. You can have that and die, run that through your die machine and die cut it directly into your card blank. However, if you want to have it as a separate piece, then you have the frame to cut around it. So both look really good. I've just gone and cut them all out just because it's easy for me to show you, but that's why, so you get your frame, but you also get your detail, which will, which will die cut into your cardstock. So that's those ones. And then what you can have is, hello you. So you, you then have that kind of like that, or like this, or however you want to. You could have, thank you, lovely. Thank you always. Thinking of you always. Thinking of you lovely thinking of you always I think but you don't even have to have them with it you can mix these with the other sentiments so there are that's one thing I will say about this Bright Rosa collection is that the kind of options and the way that you use them is endless I keep thinking when I was die cutting them I was like okay I can do it like that I can do it like that and then I was like I think you can do it like that as well I need to try it like that there are so many different ways to use these I love that it's so different, it's really modern as well, and I like that, it's something I don't have in my stash at the minute. So these die cut the U separately, but it then die cuts the kind of frame separately. So if you don't wanna have that cream frame, as I've got it die cut here, I just use my scrap, you can just have the U on its own. And again, I'll show you. So that is your outer frame. So this one will cut the, the lovely. So that was the cream part. And then there is the actual lovely on its own. But you can see how that sits inside. Okay, so within that one there, you get 14 dies, and that is the sentiment words. And that's with the thank you, hello, thinking of you, lovely, always, you, and many. So that was that one. Okay, then you've got birthday words. So that was sentiment words, this is birthday words. And you get happy birthday wishes, happy best and birthday. So again, the idea is that you get to mix and match so that's how they look so you could just have the happy birthday like that with these two however again these cut exactly the same way as I said before so you've got your happy but it's then to go with that and I love that mix of fonts Now I know that's a light cream this is a darker cream and pink and it obviously the colors don't go but you can see how that would work together but then you've also got wishes you could then have birthday wishes Again, once this is layered up on a card, you've got uh, best wishes. Then you've got birthday here, so you can then have happy birthday with this one. You could have best birthday <laughs> if you wanted to. You've also got, oh, I was using birthday, birthday then. I just thought that, I'm sure that's not right. I'm too excited. Then you've got happy birthday, which is that one there. 
Um, yeah, there's just loads. You're probably already shouting at me going, you can do that as well, Sam, but you get what I mean. There are just, yeah, I've got so many kind of, I just like that I've got so many options. It's quite nice to not just have, you know, be stuck with, with one kind of thing. So yeah, again, you that one you get 12 dies. Okay, so I'm gonna save some of my best to last. So you get these edge builders. So we've got that one, that one. And so there's three of these edge builders and they're brilliant, they're really good. I like how these work. So this is the honeycomb. And again, I like that you get the option to kind of have it cut into your paper or you can cut it out with the frames that they give you. So here are all these different edges okay so you have this one here so it's kind of this kind of zigzag print but it's great because it can also make a pocket and again I've got ideas so I think you're going to love some of the tutorials that I'm going to show you using these but that's the effect it gives you but the idea I think the general idea for these is that that would be the edge of a card so if it was a side opening card normal um, landscape this would be cut into one of the edges and what I like is that it's so big that you're not stuck to just have it as, for example, I don't know, they do a lot of like A6 size. That, I don't really make that size card, but this will fit along the height of a five by seven. It will fit on a six by six. I believe it will fit on, let's have a little look. Oh, it got up to seven by seven. So there you go, seven inches long. So you could even put that on an eight by eight and just do something with the frame around it. But they're really nice and tall, which is what I like. Then you've got that one there, which has this stitched detail all around it. And then you've got this one here. And all of these, when they're putting the bundles together, the bundles are to work together as well. So although you can buy them individually, when I show you the fun, the really cool stuff, you'll see how it all kind of works together. So then you get this here, which is this honeycomb and these are great for wraps. You can put these, obviously, you know, do all sorts with them. If you want to make some nice Christmas napkin kind of rings, you know, I don't know. Too many ideas go through my head. But again, the nice thing about this is, is that these cut into the cardstock initially, and then this will cut the frame out. But how nice is that just as a big die, just to cut a nice big rectangle as well. So again, lots and lots of different uses for this. But the yeah so it gives you that outer frame and then it cuts all of this detail into it yeah and with this one as well though it cuts the rectangle out it does leave a stitch detail on the paper that you cut it away from so again if you want to have a nice window you will get that stitch detail around the window so if that was a big cane maybe I was doing a shaker card I'd have a stitched frame which is good so that there is the edge builder and that's the honeycomb Okay, then I've got the geometric edge builder. So that is this one here. Again, this is gorgeous. So you get this one here. How cool is that? Get rid of that behind it. There we go. Ooh. Look at that. Really, really nice. And again, same concept as before. So just use that one. It will cut into the cardstock. And then if you use this, it will cut it out. And again, this one... So I didn't cut it out on this one, but it's got the stitching inside. So if I was to cut that out now, I would have a stitch detail all the way around that, which is really nice. So that's that one. And then you get these two. So you get this one with the stitch to detail around there. Again, can you imagine that as a pocket? Gonna look so cool. But it's also for like, you know, to have as a nice decorative edge on your card, along with this one here, which is like the scallop. There we go, that scallop design. So that's those, and then you also get this one here. So again, another really nice border trim. That also looks like a little fence, the top of a fence. So again, if you had more cardstock down here and had that running along the top, or as just a little garden border actually, so maybe just cut it maybe like there. That would look quite cute along the bottom of um, a card and then you've got grass kind of coming up behind it. So there's just too many ideas, so. <laughs> <laughs> I will put this all away, I will sit on it for a bit and then I will create because otherwise I just think it's a bit too overwhelming. So that is the geometric edge builder. And then the last of the edge builders, this is the lace one. Again, this is really nice. So you get, I think it's five dies, yeah, five dies in each of the edge builders. So again, exactly the same concept, that cuts in and then the frame cuts it out and you can see the detail 
of the frame on this one. You see that lovely edge? And that's what this one creates. You can see all that detail there. So that's what you get. Really cool. Put a nice piece of window sheet behind that, clear acetate, and that's the start of your shaker card. So again, that's really nice to do. And then these are your, all your edge dies. So you've got this one here. Again, that'd look really cool on the side of a card, but also what a great kind of wave or hill mountain rolling mountains on the back of a card so you can definitely create some scenes with this then you've got that one there again with like the zigzag print and then you've got this one here which is like a swirl again could be like waves as well because you could die cut a few of them and then offset them all so that would look really good and that's how they look there again all really big these are all nice size they're all about the same yeah seven inches so I don't have any that are that big I've always been just slightly too short and I've had to kind of cut the rest of it or doctor it in some way to make it work but those are going to be perfect. Okay then we're on to the really really cool stuff. So one of the things that I saw that jumped out to me straight away was the fern border and that's this one here. Now I just have a thing for like foliage. I love just green. I've got a lot of green plants and there's just something about it that I really like. I love flowers as well, but there's something just about greenery that really does, yeah, I like a lot. So when I got these, I was quite excited because again, it's huge. And this one you get 16 dies, but just look how big that die is. It is just so cool. And again, you can cut these you know, you can cut a border with, a, a frame with them. So you can see how it cuts here. So that's it there. And then if this was your card blank, imagine that's your card blank, you could kind of layer that or even, no, actually, so you cut that and then you cut it again and then you'd put that on your card blank. And you can have a sentiment and stuff. That's for the card kind of options, but I always kind of like to, I don't know, not break the rules, but just try and, I always use things, I think sometimes the way they're not really intended to be made. So the ideas I have for this are different to the ideas that they have given as inspiration, but that's, you know, that's fine. That's just the way I am. But look at this here. So that's what you can also have if you use these pieces here. So let me, there's just so much to this. So you get, if you imagine that's the detail, which is this die here. Look at it, it's just a huge, and these are strong dies and they cut beautifully. That's another thing I should have said at the beginning. Not one of these did I have to use a shim, nothing at all. It cut perfectly through my big shot with no problems. They've got really deep, you can see how raised the blade is. It's really, it is, yeah, very good. Good quality. So that one, you can see how it would sit and then this is your frame die. So it's nice to have the option of that because Again, it just opens up more and more kind of options for you. So you don't have to have that. I just wanted to show you how that cuts out. But if you imagine that was completely filled in, so that was just solid, and then you had that over the top, you would then have a background, a framed background for that leaf. So that could be a gift tag. If that was solid, and that was obviously over the top of it, you imagine that being a nice big gift tag hanging from a gift bag. How different is that? It's just, that's what I like about this is that it gives you the options to be able to do really different things. And again, you get the smaller one here and that one has the frame complete. So you can die cut that, you know, on plain cardstock and then you can layer the detail over the top. So, but then you can also do this as well with it. So again, if you just want to layer up lots of things, you can. And then, you have these pieces here, which I thought, obviously they're brilliant because they're little sprigs and bits to kind of nestle in and build up scenes, but they look really good in green for seaweed. So again, if I'm doing any underwater scenes, which I really like to do, how cool this would all look along the bottom and then fishes kind of nestled in between it and stuff. I think that's gonna look super cool. So you get that, but then you also get all of these separate leaves. So you can build up and add to it all. And um, yeah, I think it's brilliant. So 16 dies, really, really large. I'll tell you the size of this one as well. So this one measures seven inches. I think that seems to be the size running throughout this collection. So I'm gonna pop all this away. So I'd love to know if anybody else already has some of this collection, you know, what your thoughts on it. I think it's been out about four weeks, four or five weeks, I think. 
So yeah, very new. Okay, so this is the flower border and I love this one. So you get this huge, great big die, which is again, seven inches long and it will cut out completely and it will give you this cream piece. So imagine that pink's not on there. You can see that cream design. Then from that, you can layer on top of it, but you can also use one side as I have and just cut that out. And that could be the side of a card, but you could also then cut out the other side and have it as a solid, you know, topper on its own kind of thing. You can cut this all together like that on some plain cardstock, then cut that again and layer it up. And then you can also cut them separately. So you have them all here, but then you can also layer on top of this with all of these pieces. You could then add leaves underneath it as well and you could create some really fun things with this. And I, again, my mind is all over the place. So I've got so many fun ideas. But the flower, just look, if I bring that up really close, you see all that. And if I put my finger underneath, you can see it's just a, a nice little framed piece of detail there. And these, when you layer these up, you could use them on their own as snowflakes. I think they'd look really cool. So yeah, you can imagine layering up all of these parts and making that a real full kind of yeah piece. I think it's great, I love this one. So yeah, that's the flower border. Okay, then to go with that, if you were to buy it as a bundle, you can also get the flower band. Oh, this is amazing. This is so cool. So what you get is this great big die. There we go, it's huge. Again, let's see what this one comes in at. Seven and a quarter, that one actually is a little bit bigger. But this can be used as a wrap, so you can have it as a belly band. You could have it right on the front of a card, but you can also cut it individually. You can also do pop-up features with it. It's really, really good. So this is how it looks. Now what I've done is I've cut off one side Okay, just to show you how it looks if you want to have it as one solid piece. So when it's cut, you will have this piece here and basically you cut, you just have to join up that piece there to that bit. Okay, because you can see that that just frames this edge. So it's really easy to do, but look at it. How cool is that? Look at all this detail, it's so nicely done. It really is. You've got all these layers to it. Again, I just grabbed any scrap card that I had. They're probably not the colors that I would choose. But what I also liked about this is when you die cut the smaller one, so this is the next size down, the pieces that fall out of this one here are these. They're almost like little daggers. But I'm sure you could use them as also like, I don't know, they look a little bit like they're a heart as well. But, you know, don't throw away some of the, uh, the waste because it's actually quite cool. And then you have, so that's the separate one as a solid piece, which is the one I've stuck on the very bottom there. But you can also die cut that as a larger solid piece, which would give you this cream one. Okay, so you've actually got two solid pieces there. Then you have that beautiful detail. And the nice thing about this detail is that there's no edge to this. So that will die cut into the cardstock. So again, if you wanted to die cut that into a card blank and then pop some, again, acetate behind it and then pop that detail on top, that would make a really fun kind of shaker element or just as a window card with a, you know, a cool aperture on it. Then you have all the smaller ones and you also have these circles, which I believe are to frame the inside here. So imagine you would put that and then that and then layer up on top of that again. Yeah, and there it is. Sorry, that's the one. So that is how it cuts into the card. So that's what I was saying about you pop some, you know, acetate behind that and then have that really nice decorative piece through the middle. And there's more options to that. You can, you know, layer and layer and layer and make this such a full piece. It's just... That's going to make a beautiful top on the top of a Christmas gift, for example, if you've done that in, you know, the reds or any kind of colours, really, but, or a gift tag. You know, look at all the room you've got on the back to be able to write your message. And you've got that hanging from a large gift because it's so big. Like, yeah, I can't tell you how nice it is to have these really large dies. So that is the flower band, but that also works really nicely with the flower border. So you can see how this all, there's the same kind of design, it all works together. So I think it's that one, 
you get the, let me just bring this up so I've got my screen here. So if you were to buy the three as a bundle, you would get the flower border, the flower band, and the honeycomb, which was that one. So that's just one bundle that you could get, but then you can also get two in a bundle, which would just be those two. Or you can buy them separately. So again, it's nice that you've got that option to be able to kind of really, yeah, make it work for you. So just down to the last two. I told you I had a lot to um, to show you today and I wanted to make sure you get to see it all properly. Okay, the last ones, and these are probably my favourite, but remember I haven't done that heart one which I showed you, showed you earlier. But this is the butterfly band, because you know I love butterflies. And so again, exactly the same concept as the flower. But look at this one. So this is how this one comes out. Look how big that is. Again, I've just used white, simple colours, just because it's my scrap. I love the body is separate of this as well. So there is your band. Again, you can cut both of those separate if you wanted to. I didn't cut that one. So you would have another layer behind that. Well, you don't have to. You could do multiple layers of this. You could cut it in vellum. So again, it gives that kind of, I get a bit of a more of an authentic look to a butterfly. But you've got those. Then that's the detail one. So again, that will cut into the cardstock. So it would create that same kind of window effect you could get with that. And then you have the smaller ones as well, which does exactly the same thing. So that cuts, no, that does cut right out, but you can also then have the, the matching background. You've then got the body individually. So that's the small one. And then you've got the body individually for the larger one, which you can see there, this is separate. But look at all that detail, isn't that gorgeous? Really, really, really love this. So yeah, that is the butterfly. And then the last one, which I adore, is the butterfly's border. And look at this, and you get so much in this one. So this is uh, 11 dies. So that is how it looks. So this is the same effect you can get with the flower that I showed you. If you were to cut it out completely, so if you've just done that blank border, that blank background, which is this cream one, and then stick this over. And you can do anything you want with that. Again, you can have it as a gift tag because you've got quite a nice area here to be able to write, have some nice ribbon from the top. And then you can have that on top. So you can really layer it up, but then you can also have them on their own. So if you want to have a matching gift bag and gift box, greeting card, you've got the options to have it here. So all of these are will fit a size on here to layer up, but you can. I like that you can have them also separate. It's just really, really cool. I love all these options. So there again are your outer border or background. That is how you die cut all the butterflies. So it's nice that it's on one piece as well. So you can just run that through and it will cut all of those blank backgrounds, which is the cream. And then that's that lovely big topper there, which you can die cut again into the card. It's the frames there that will then cut it out and make it this piece here. And then these are all of those butterflies, all the detail on top. You've just got so much, so many options. Can you see why I was excited? So that is the butterflies border. And then the doorbell went and a delivery of my binder rings come and I have purchased these really large binder rings. Look, and these are super strong. And I have some fun projects that I can now make that will be coming with these. So again, there's loads here and I will link in where I got these from if it's something that you're interested in before you see what I do with them. But yeah, I've got loads. So I just went and done a big order on them because yeah, it's something I go to. I've used them in mini albums and stuff, but um, yeah, I've got some fun ideas with those. And I almost forgot, I also received the issue 198, which is the August issue of Card Making and Papercraft magazine. And the reason I picked this one up was for this set of dies here. So this is Summer Meadow. And I just, I don't know what it is. Again, I've got this thing about sprigs and just foliage. I just really like it. But it was this grass one more than anything because it's just going to be, it's actually going to work really well with all the dyes that I've shared with you. But I just love that I can just stamp that in green and then I can kind of do like second generation, third generation stamping with it and create a really nice scene with it. And I don't have, 
I've got kind of singular pieces, maybe something similar to that, but even those singular kind of blades of grass, I don't have, and it's just a really handy stamp to have. So yeah, I really like them. And then you've got these bits here, that bee is actually really cute. I don't have a little small bee stamp like that. And there's some nice little sentiments there. Let love grow, if friends or flowers I pick you. That's pretty common, I think everybody's done that now. But the font's slightly different. Then you've got send in love on your birthday, that's nice and that's the different kind of font and that thinking of you as well. The frames, yeah, not really my style. But you do have some really nice, that is the dandelion, I believe there, I think. I have to have a better look, but it's really cute. And you do have, I mean, I've got enough butterfly dies now, but there's some butterflies there and the dies to cut these smaller ones out. But for me, it's these here. I really did like those. And then as always, you get a really nice magazine full of inspiration. There's some really nice ideas here. Chic ideas with peonies. You've got some flipper slider, flip slider cards there, which I've done before. You've got rocker cards, I've done those before. But um, yeah, I do love looking for it with a nice cup of tea and a tonics tea cake. So that's what I'm going to do after this, um, this video. Okay, so that is this week's What Did I Get? And I just, I can't wait. I've got so much crafting going on at the moment, which is obviously what I do. So that's brilliant. But when you get this kind of product, it really does allow you to, yeah, your mind kind of just wanders off and you start thinking about all kinds of things. So I've got some really, really cool ideas with this and I can't wait to start putting it into practice and hope that it all comes together and I can't wait to use this paper here and create nice little things with this I've got the rings I've got just so much so bear with me it does all eventually get out there everything I say I'm going to do I will do it does obviously just take some time but um, yeah I hope you like what I've shared with you today chat with me below I like to see what you write I will try and reply to as many as I can like I said I'm interested to see how many of you do already have this if you've seen it before please do, you know, comment and I will, yeah, check them out and get back to you as soon as I can. But until tomorrow, I will um, see you then with a new tutorial. But I hope you've enjoyed it. Please give me a thumbs up if you have and subscribe to my channel so you get to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.